go, take, let's go, sit, let's roll. Can't sit back, be patient. Niggas act like the gang went vacant. Niggas act like the drum been taken. This is what I like to call a corporate America set. <laughs> and I really do not like sets like this because you'd be surprised. Short nails are a lot harder to do than long nails. You have no space to work. You have no space to put an apex. You have no space to build a free edge. It's the worst thing ever. I hate corporate America sets. They are the absolute worst. Especially when your corporate America set lady comes in and then they're like, oh, can you take them a little bit shorter? Or even shorter than this? And they're like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay. But you have to do it. And you have to know how to do it. So hopefully this kind of helps you guys with some tips and some tricks. Everyone's already prepped. I've already put primer on this hand. Please remind me to prime this hand because I did not prime this hand. Um... This Mia Secret Cover Pink Not Polished Monomer. When you go to start a short set, I know I normally say like, oh, put your first bead halfway towards the middle. That's not the case with short sets. You almost want it to be not your cuticle bead, but the bead you would place right above that because you want to be able to work that first bead down a majority of the way to the free edge. Because you're not going to have too much more space before it starts to get bulky, bulky, bulky. And then now you look like you have chiclets on your fingers. So I'm going to take this first bead. All these beads are going to be really small and really dry. So I'm going to be waiting for this to smooth over. Which it look like it's ready. And I'm going to be placing it almost at the cuticle, but not quite. And fanning it out and downward, wiping my brush, dipping my brush in some more monomer. Blending. I waited a little bit too long because I was talking too much, so I kind of have to move quick and try to bring this all the way out. Keep it square. And I want it to really be thin by the time I get to the free edge. Just like Pressing in to keep my square shape. That way, can you guys kind of tell? Turn your hand sideways. She already kind of has an apex. And you want to get that going soon because if you do it too flat, you're going to have you're gonna have a really bulky nail. And you can see at my free edge, it's pretty thin. Can you see? Can you see? Mm -hmm. But you want to go with the cuticle bead and you're going to have one there. And that's really that. So now I'm going to go in with the free edge bead. I'm not putting anything at the halfway mark just yet. I'm This is going right on the free edge and I'm pressing it out. That way it flares out so I can get the shape that I want. Working pretty wet because I want to be able to mold this and shape it. Wiping my brush dry because I don't want monomer to make this any wet, wetter. Blending it into the work I've already done. You can tell it's starting to spread, so I'm going to press it, flatten it out, press it, flatten it out. Bring it down to the free edge, keeping it square and just molding. And then I'm going to push back to give myself that really square shape. Wet my brush just a little, just so that it gives me a little bit more time to work. Just like that. Now, now I'm going to go in for my cuticle. And I'm going to be tilting the finger really downward for this. A pretty small bead. Taking it, pushing it down so it flares out. And not flooding that cuticle.
I do have a small space right here. It looks like I don't, but when you wipe away that monomer, I have a divot right there. So I'm going to be taking an even smaller bead, turning that finger, placing the bead, letting it set before I do anything, and then going in and pushing it in to where I see that missing gap and feathering it out onto everybody else. That's that. Everything else that you see as far as imperfections is gonna be fixed with a hand file. These are, like short nails really are nails that should be done with a couple of beads. You should not be doing as many beads as you need when it comes to having a short set because you're gonna end up with very bulky nails. Keeping those sides clean by wiping them. Small bead again. I didn't really build the apex. I'm going to be putting it a little bit above where that first one was. Feathering it out. I might as well do the cuticle while I'm here because it's a little wet and they'll blend into each other. And then do my free edge bead. I wait for that to dry. And I wait for it to dry because it's able to be moldable rather than me having to chase it around. Wiping my brush dry, waiting a bit, and just patting into place. And I like those super square nails, so I'm doing that by keeping my product where I want it and spreading it out, patting it, spreading it, and just keeping it all together. I feel like it's a little uneven, so I'm going to place another bead here. Letting it dry a bit. I'm going to blend it. I'm going to hurry up and blend it into what I've already worked so I don't have a line of demarcation. Tilting the finger downward to let gravity work with me.
quite like that there. One thing I am afraid of, of like doing nails, is like, let's say after I have the baby, mm -hmm. just like losing my skill. Like, it doesn't take long to like lose. You could have it, you can understand. It's still gonna take a minute to, mm -hmm. if you lose it, it's gonna take a little minute to like. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like, I don't know what to do to like. I mean, obviously, you have to just keep working, mm -hmm. but. Practicing? Ain't nothing. I, I'm a cute. I'm gonna say it till the wheels fall out. There is nothing like a real working hand. on a real hand. It, it will never. You will never be able to practice. Not gonna say good enough, mm -hmm. but you're not. Because every 10 fingers are different. Mm -hmm. And working in a salon really has showed me that no feet, no foot, no toe is the same. And it's all a different technique. And you don't learn that with the same exact practice hand over and over and over mm -hmm. and over. And then you get out there and you're like, oh, there's nothing like my practice hand. Right. So now you got to like figure, figure it, out. it out and see what to do and ask for help. Which is, that's, that's why I say like, it's just nothing like. Hey, can I do your nails or mm -hmm. can I practice on you? Even if it is the same person over and over, obviously you get used to it. Mm -hmm.
Yes, other than their sale ended Friday. Mm. Damn it. You're almost done. Okay, I'm going to try to explain to y'all how I get that crispy edge. I take a pretty small bead and I wait for it to cure down. And I place it right where I want it. The more you press your acrylic brush, the wider the acrylic will spread. I'm wiping my brush dry at Vinny Monomer. I'm going to blend what's already placed. And I'm going to wet my brush a bit and I'm going to start to basically make a square. I like to pat, bring it out a little bit over than what you want it to be. Because when you swipe this back into place, it's going to give you a really nice crisp line of acrylic that when you file, it's just going to get even sharper. You want to make sure it's sidewall to sidewall. Even on your free edge, you want to bring it all the way over because your client's going to be staring at this for weeks. So you want to make sure it's from every angle and then you just pat it until it is cured. And if it has a little bit of excess, that's totally okay because you can hand file that away and it's still going to have that shape. And that's how you get like a really crispy square. I'm done with that. Every time I finish and my brush is in good standing, I douse the tip in cuticle oil and I wipe it all over just to keep my brush moisturized and fanned out.
All right, so now I'm going to be switching back to the fine sanding band, putting that on at a low speed, the lowest speed possible. And now I'm only touching this with the cuticle and lightly going over the work that I just did. Actually, I'm not going to do the cuticle. I'm just going to go over the work because I don't like... This acrylic is a little thicker, so I don't think it's best for me to try to get in the cuticle with this. So I'm just going to blend everybody together over the top. And I'll go back with the drill bit I just had on and go for my cuticle. Okay, a little speed of four, and just very carefully going around the sidewalls and the cuticle.
hand.